What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is. It's the greatest day of the week. It's Snap On Friday. There's Hamilton. Let's see what he's got. Come on. Been working like a dog, damn. Got some problems need solved, but this beer drinking money in the bank. Some get gone 87 in the time. You know what day it is? Finally, Friday. Finally. What you do with the weather out here? What's going on? I don't know it came but they opened the deep freezer up and left it open or something good. Cold. Man, God. Well, it's cold out there. So it's 31 right now. 31 don't sound bad, but with that wind whipping around like it is. All them people up north and out west and stuff, they laugh at us when we fuss about 31 <laughs> being cold. Yeah, this, that's what uh, I talked to my wife earlier and she's like, we was talking about something. I was like, it's been down, snowing up here all morning. She's like, snowing? I said, yeah, you get like here, flurries here and flurries there. It's like, there ain't no snow. I said, it's snow. <laughs> They'd laugh at us, you know, because they yeah. think it's cold, but hell, they bring their ass down here in the summer when it's 107 and 90% humidity. They'll yeah. realize real quick the difference in the temperature. Yeah, because yep. yeah, it is cold right now. I sure is. Sucks. Bad. Bad. We ain't got some cool Nipix display. Yeah. Got that and got the little Nipix bag. Everybody loves Nipix bars. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's the roll. The roll. Yeah, buddy. Nobody figured out what these are for. I said, I hang them up on the wall. Flip your <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Even, I've got one of them rolls. I didn't even know them loops <laughs> was there. You taught me something today. You can hang up on the wall. Yep. These are some handy little old pliers right here. Yeah. Y'all ain't got a pair of them. Everybody talks about the new ones. It's got the, the metal handles on them. But I'm still a fan I'm, of the... The 125s, Oops. I like that insulated grip. Yeah, the, uh, well, we talked about that one day. Side. Yeah. I mean, the size difference is, yes, if you don't put them in your pocket all the time, this is what most people use. I can see the benefit of having uh -huh. these without the rubber on them. But the amount of pressure, I mean, the bite force that you have on it is very yep. different. That's not the end. I mean, about an inch shorter, so you don't mm -hmm. get the grip on them. I just like them little 125. These I are my favorite they're... ones right here. Them and the 10 inch. Like, if I was only going to yep. have two pair of Nipex, actually, I'd want three. And I'll tell you which one. I want the 125s, the 250s, and then them big mama jamas. Yeah, I ain't got none of the big ones. But them jokers. You're talking about the ones that's as big as these, or yep. bigger than these, yep. but the regular. So you, them right there are bad to the bone too. Yeah, <laughs> these are. Those Swedish pipe wrenches are the bone. And that's what people say, like, what are these, like, where are they compared to? I said, well, they're, well, they're similar to what these are. Yeah, the course, PWZs. Yeah, these are a little bit quicker to adjust and stuff. The only thing I wish on these would be different. Let me show y'all them if y'all don't know what a PWZ is, which I like the these. PWZs. Out of, out of all pipe wrenches, the PWZ is probably my favorite pipe wrench out of mm -hmm. everything out there. And uh, the, uh, actually myself at the house, I got the Bonco brand, right. which is owned by Snap-on, but because I don't want the rubber on them, mm -hmm. I wanted the hard grip, so I ordered the Bonco ones for myself. Well, I know the uh, uh, <clears throat> those right there, the one I got has got the, uh, they call them the S jaws or whatever. Yeah. And man, like taking studs out of airbags, that's what yeah. I bought mine for. They're they're way better yeah. than anything I've ever tried. The only thing I wish that was different about these, I do wish that they was like the 100s with the slip jaw that would just oh, yeah. go up yeah. automatically. Mm, uh, the these quick don't. release or whatever. Yeah, which I mean, that's not the end of the world. I mean, you push right. the dang button, you used to it on every other set of Nipex pliers. You remember but back they, when everybody thought, and Channel Lock still makes good pliers. I mean, oh, they, they do. They do make good pliers. I mean, they, they're the originals. But the 
the button that's on those Cobras, the way they adjust, God, man, that's the way to yeah. go. And there's, I'm, you know, I've had a lot of people ask, what are you talking about the way they adjust with the button? They're just So instead push of the having button. the, you know, the... The old school, well, yeah. like the snap-on ones. Yeah, same, same thing, the, the grooves or channels yeah. or whatever you call them. So you got the, the line right here and with all the little teeth right here. And snap on and put a spring in theirs, which is kind of handy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is kind of handy. Uh, but I'm not a fan of the snap on uh, channel lock version. Yep. Uh, I've never have been. Um, I like these. When I grew up, of course, I mean, we didn't have Nipix, we had the channel lock version. Mm -hmm. And that's what we had. And I got a uh, set that I got from my daddy that I bet is, is they're just as big, if not bigger, than the big Nipix yeah. ones. Uh, I got a pair of those long blue yeah. handle ones like yep, that too. Yep, blue handle. Yep. Old school, but I mean, you can't tear them up. Things are stout. And those snap-on, I think it was AWP-45s. Yeah. The little bitty snap-on pliers. I kept them in my pocket for years. And Hamilton had to warranty two pair of them out. And the very <laughs> first pair of Nipex I ever got was this pair here because I kept wearing those AWPs out. And they'd wire out in the the channels is where they'd slip at. Yep. Well, yeah, right here, because the difference in the channel lock and the snap-on ones, and I'm not sure what the engineering reason is, but the channel lock ones are squared off. Mm -hmm. The snap-on ones are rounded off on the head, on the corners of them. Right. Uh, of course, the... And they'd jump track, and you'd, they would, it'd when lose you put pressure on, yeah. After they get wore out, they would. They'd slip and stuff. I mean, they're lifetime warranties. Uh, we swap them out and everything. You swap a bunch of them out. Now I'm gonna get everybody over onto these so we don't swap them out very much anymore. So he warranted my snap-on pair out with a pair of those Nipex. And dude, I fell in love with them. I yeah, bought never every size back. of yeah. Nipex they made after that. <laughs> like yeah. I went pretty much Nipex crazy from that day forward and I've never looked back. Like I've never wanted another pair of pliers. Just now, the far way as, they work. Yeah, as far as channel locks, or I say channel locks, people like, can't call them channel locks or Nipex, or cut Nipex, cut Nipex if you don't yeah. get, yeah realistic with them but i mean these are they're the best in the, the plier world for sure definitely um talking about this set over here the automotive set um you got these of course you got these cutters which is hand i mean they're right. great and i'm not gonna say that these are better than the snap-on ones because uh, the snap-on cutters are great also we sell a bunch of them uh, I'm trying to find the record but here's the long ones so a bunch of these the difference in these are easy to move, snap-ons are not. Yeah. That's the only difference. And as far as cutting, I feel like both of them cut the, about the same. Mm -hmm. um, so what but, is the uh, those cutters right here? These are for, for like hoses and stuff? You can use them on hoses. Anything you get in there is on cut besides hard cable. It's not no cut steel cable or nothing like that. They're called, um, or they're mainly used for like battery cable ends or aluminum wire ends. I got a buddy of mine, I sold his whole crew, set them their linemen, and uh -huh. they use them cutting power line, like the end of them, because they're all aluminum and stuff. Yeah. So they get when it's frayed off, they use it and cut that aluminum, and where it's not frayed no more. But for like, you go through a badger cable, I mean, they used to take it right through, there were no problem at all. If you are gonna cut some steel, then you need yep, the these right here. bolt cutters. Yeah, these are the short ones. Dude, that uh, right there. These, them little things is impressive what you can cut really if them. you get it in there that's what i was gonna say if it'll if it will fit between them jaws you can cut that joker yeah it. this is the same yeah same one i had different sets of them but these yeah, are if you can fit it in if there if you get it in there it's one to cut. cut it for sure yeah you may if i've seen guys put them in there just a little piece of it and have to nick them two or three mm -hmm. times to get it but if you can get it in there to cut it They'll show enough cuts and stuff. I haven't never used any of the Nipex needle nose pliers. Uh, I mean, they're, to me, a needle nose is a needle nose. Uh, just about, I know, for needle nose, snap on got some of the best grip mm -hmm. out there. I don't own a pair of the needle nose Nipex, so I can't say anything about these. Yeah. I don't. Well, I've got a pair of them, and I like them. Yeah. I've also got a pair of the snap-ons, and I like them too. So. Yeah. Uh, the snap I noticed got, the points not as sharp on the snap-on ones as the... Yeah, they are a little bit fatter on the, the end than the Nipex one is. 
a little bit fatter all the way down until about right here. Them doggone Germans now, they know how they, to make some pliers. Oh yeah. That's what I was telling somebody this morning, I was like, well, how are they? I said, I don't know. I said, I've never used one. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that they're the best ever. Yeah. I said, but I will tell you that I bet they are good though. You know, I'm going to, I got to set now. Uh, I'm going to try it out. We're going to see. We're going to find out. Well, tell everybody what happened to you last week while you wasn't here. Because well, yeah. everybody wants to fuss when you don't show up. And yeah. I'm like, I promise you, <laughs> if he's not here, it's something bad. Like, yeah. the, you know, the first week your dad had passed away. Yep. That's definitely a little gym and excuse. <laughs> so they're all like, what happened to Hamilton? Just lay out? I'm like, that's what I told somebody the other day. I said, I'm ready for 2023 to get here already. <laughs> Just through the month of January. That's what I told somebody. I said, the first week my dad passed. Second week my truck went down and spent multiple thousands of dollars getting this thing back up and going. Uh, I thought I was going to start off this week with the truck messing up, but got it straightened out pretty easy. It wasn't near as bad of a problem as I thought it was going to be. But last week, last Sunday, I woke up and I had belly pains right here, bad. And that's what I woke up and... I went and tried to use the restroom, couldn't use the bathroom or nothing. And I was like, I don't know what's going on with me. You know, I said, I feel like I'm constipated, but I ain't got no gallbladder because two years ago they took that out. So, so I went and working on the house for a little while, came back home, laid on the couch, went back work on my house some more. My wife got there, I was laying on the floor, had tears in my eyes. I was hurting so bad, had tears in my eyes. Ended up going to the doctor. They sent me for a CT scan Monday. Tuesday morning we do emergency surgery on me. My appendix messed up. Which I've always heard all these different stories about appendix. So like, oh, you'll be up and going. There won't be. The doctor's like, we'll do surgery on you, and uh, you'll be gone. Won't have no restrictions at all. You'll be able to do whatever you want to do. That fool's a flat out line. <laughs> we, uh, I, was, I got to emergency room Tuesday night at six o five or six twenty five. I got in the room at ten twenty five. I mean Monday night, not Tuesday night. Yeah. Monday night, Tuesday they're done surgery. Come home. Uh, I got home probably 10 o'clock Tuesday night, and then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'd laid up on the house. Couldn't move, bruised up. That and sucks, man. Yeah, they cut me three times, and that's what I saw. I got a bruise right here, pretty good sized bruise. Like I said, my wife, I said, like, I'm my, I'm sore. The doctor said, like, oh, you're, like, you're good, you can go. I called the doctor over there, like, look, I'm hurting still. Like, I don't know what's going on. He said, well, it's probably from the robot. I didn't know that they sat there, the doctor pretty much just sitting there watching this little robot do the surgery, you know? Oh, wow. That's that Da Vinci robot. I mean, yeah, something. Yeah. I don't know what it is. But he said the bruises come from the robot moving around and just pulling on your skin and stuff. But, like, <laughs> even my chest, everywhere, all this over here is sore, like, to the touch. This side's fine. But now it's a little sore right here now. But, See? C-3PO done operated on <laughs> yeah. Hamilton. Must have had a lightsaber yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whack, whacking on you. That's, but yeah, I talked to a doctor. Like I talked to him earlier in the week, told him I was sore and hurting still, and he said I shouldn't be. But I got an appointment next Wednesday to go meet him. And uh, he took, a, or my wife took a marker. He said, told her to mark the bruises on me with a marker and to see if they get bigger or smaller. Right. So we are done that last night. We'll find out and see. But. Man. I'm, glad you're I'm back. ready for maybe, I'm ready I'm, for 2023 to get I've here. already always heard bad luck comes in threes. So maybe you've already got your three out of the way and everything's <laughs> gonna be smooth sailing the rest of the year. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> I wouldn't go fishing or nothing like that. I wouldn't get no boat for a while if I was you the way your luck is going. I'm just gonna say that. Yeah, too cold to swim today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's too it, Getting up, that's what standing up's fine, sitting down's fine. It's getting from one spot to the other where it hurts so bad, too. Yeah. But, that uh, sucks, man. Yeah. Why? I've been, uh, my truck rides like crap. The F 250, is 06 F 250. You got one, you know, they don't ride good at all. Yeah, they rub. But my Jeep, it rides better. It's just harder getting in because it's so much higher. Right. So it's hard. I mean, you got to pick your leg way up and try to crawl up in there and stuff. I tell my wife, I can't even get in my Jeep to ride in it. I got to ride my truck because <laughs> you can just slide right over off in it. Well, that sucks, but, man. Well, that's definitely a good enough reason why you weren't here on Friday. I mean, yeah. I knew about it, but I wasn't going to tell you business, you know. Yeah. But, oh, well. So far as doing any type of work stuff, I ain't done much of nothing besides be lazy. Ride around. Yeah. I don't blame you. 
get the easy stuff out there. Don't weigh nothing. Well, when uh, when is the CT eight sixty ones gonna be in? I, see I got four of them on the way. Got them posted pictures of them already. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of places already got them out. I got four of them on the way. They say it's supposed to be one of each color when they sure. get here, but they got four of them coming though. Well, I gotta have one of them. Yeah. Everybody I ain't even got to put... do a torque test on them, see if they're stronger or weaker. Yeah, that's what I haven't even held one in my hand to hit the button on it to see what what they're well, going to do. I don't care what color it is, whichever color you don't. Which want. Which left? Which, <laughs> no, whichever color you don't want to put on the truck, you leave mine at home because I know it'll be gone. <laughs> yeah, well, we got some of them on the way. They they're supposed to be pretty exciting. They look good though. Well, they got red, orange, green, and high vis. Is that what they're doing? Or uh, well, and they got gunmetal gray too. Okay. I don't know which colors I got coming. I'm sure the yellow probably be left out. That's the one that they seem to be leaving out more than anything now. Well, if I get to pick one, I want the gunmetal gray one. That gunmetal gray looks good. Because uh, I don't have one that color, and that'll be uh, a good easy beginner. to tell which one's different. Yeah. When they come in, just leave it at home. You can pick it up <laughs> Friday morning before you leave. <laughs> and stick it under your seat, because yeah. it'll be gone. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we finna get off here. I got to do some shopping. I had Hamilton order me some tools, so time to get back to work. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us today. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes in the description. We put spring tool links in there if you go to the Amazon store. And like always, if you're not subscribed, click that button. It's free. Just click, press it. Just push it. Y'all have a good one. See ya.